Nerd Soul. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We are back. N E R D S O U L. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, ILM places on a new episode of Nerd Soul Gaming. And today we have a super powered list. Once again, big shout out to Randy SO7 to Fizzive. Uh this this, this is an interesting one because this asks us, do we go with Goliath, Brother Voodoo, who I will just refer to as Voodoo from now on, or Constantine in a free-for-all in an abandoned subway? Um, so even though I know we love gargoyles, uh, we got love for Goliath, uh, but with these three, I immediately have to get rid of Goliath. I don't think he can roll with Brother Voodoo and or Constantine. I think with these two specific men, he is out of his league. I would I would think that a good addition or a good replacement for him would be someone like Zatanna. But with that said, I don't think Goliath can make it. So we are left with Voodoo versus Constantine in an abandoned subway. Interesting one. Do I think Constantine has what it takes against Voodoo? I'm going to say no and here's why. Because Voodoo has already once been the Sorcerer Supreme. Um, now, if we're gonna if we're gonna use this, this doesn't say that we can't use the Sorcerer Supreme version of the character. So what I'm gonna say is, on on an average every day, I think the fight might kind of roll down slightly even. But in this case, Brother Voodoo takes it because of either a he is sorcerer supreme or he has the experience and knowledge of being sorcerer supreme which is a level that constantine has never ever met and i don't think being a dabbler of sorts uh can put you in the rarefied air of those like doom and dr strange uh i think these men are more than dabblers um, and I think that even though John Constantine is more than a dabbler, I think that he's closer to a dabbler than a sorcerer supreme. Um, I think voodoo might be a little too much for him in the long run. And I don't think that Constantine has what it takes to close out a fight with him quickly enough to not let that experience take over and overtake him in either a course close quarters battle uh, whether we're casting spells or any other kind of hoodoo magic that you're going to throw down um so in that case i'm going to give it to brother voodoo um which i'm going to always refer to as voodoo in an abandoned subway against goliath and constantine i don't think they can stand up to his skills He's, he's the man. Um, but we have an extra. We have a bonus uh, because he also hit us with, um, uh, let's see, Wolverine, Tarzan, <laughs> which is weird, and Samurai Jack in the African Serengeti. Um, I'm going to be honest. Tarzan does not have the killer instinct that the other two men have in Wolverine or Samurai Jack, even if it's Laura Kenny. Laura Kenny may have more of a bloodlust than her father, so that, that could be a whole nother thing. So, you know, Tarzan is out. He's out. He nah. He's out. Just forget forget it. Forget it. It's done. There's no way I uh-uh. Forget it. Uh, <laughs> but with that said, Wolverine versus a Samurai Jack is a interesting fight um i don't know how exactly i would call this i love both of these characters we've seen both of these characters in amazing one-on-one -on -one matches 
as well as amazing against all odds, one on like 50, one on 100 or whatever um, circumstances. <sighs> if I were to, if I were to say we're in the African Serengeti, this is a one on one. Uh, you got Samurai Jack and all of his glory. Um, especially when he gets like super angry and the hair is flowing, like the shirt's ripped or the, the, the gi is ripped up or whatever. Versus Wolverine, who can become feral and, and go even crazy. I think this might be the first time that I call a stalemate. This is one that I think both of these men can literally rip each other to shreds. And both of them, you know what? I'll say this. Um, Wolverine edges him out due to the healing factor. I think Wolverine edges him out to that. Jack is Jack is mad, mad nice. And when I say edges him out, I don't, I don't mean that it's a slam dunk for Wolverine. I think this fight goes long. And this fight gets nasty, but I'd say that this one would lean to Wolverine due to the mutant ability of the healing factor. Yeah, I think that I think that's where I'm gonna go with this one. Um, I love you, Samurai Jack. This is, you know, psh, man, Jack is that dude. But I think unless Jack is able. To go for the jugular, I think this is this might end up being either a stalemate or slightly siding with Wolverine. So guys, holla at me. I'm gonna holla at you. Down in the comments, let's talk about Goliath versus Voodoo versus Constantine, or let's talk Wolverine versus Tarzan versus Samurai Jack. Um, let me hear what you got to say, man. I, I'm very interested. You know, come one, come all. But until next time, of course, this is N-E-R-D-S-O-U-L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can check me out at all them places. Of course, the podcast for the audio, Spotify for that music. <laughs> but of course, thanks for hanging with me. Give me that time. Great to see those beautiful sunshiny faces. And from me to you, I'm just saying, peace.